and welcome to Easy Play Piano. If you're new to piano improvisation or ready to pick up a few new tips and tricks, then you found the perfect place to begin your piano improvisational journey. If you're feeling confused about how to arrange chords and want to feel confident improvising at the piano in any social situation, don't miss your chance to sign up for a free consultation below and let's chat. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. I help people just like you go from confused and confident to improvise at the piano in any social setting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hello and welcome in. So this lesson is really fun because if you took lessons as a child, you may remember um, the word strawberry used to play certain rhythms. So that's a little hint. But before we begin, let's establish the key that we're in today, which is B major, B flat major. So the B is flat and the E is flat as well. Now, if you're newer to uh, piano, practice this just a few times until you feel really comfortable. Now, we're not going to play the B flat major scale as such, but I do want you to be aware of the notes that are in the B flat major scale. Now, let's look at the B flat major scale as well in our left hand. The notes in the B flat major scale are exactly the same. Now again, as I said, we're not going to actually be playing the B flat major scale as such, but it is important that you remember that in the left hand, the B flat and the E flat are flat as well. Now let's build out some chords. So these are going to create the pattern, the foundation from which we're going to improvise. So we're going to start with the, um, the B flat chord, B flat, D and F. Now we're going to do something a little bit interesting so I want you to get really comfortable first by playing the B flat major chord now I have my left hand just to give the just to ground the chord a little bit but don't worry about the left hand if you don't play that as well so for now play B flat D and F now we're gonna throw that B flat to the top of our chord so now the chord reads it's still the B flat major chord it's what we call in an inversion so we've inverted the chord taken the B flat and we're gonna throw it on top so now the notes are D F and B flat pretty simple right so just for that B flat on top that's our new chord now we're gonna do one more step we're gonna remove that D and now we just have the notes F and B flat. So technically, yes, it still is a B flat chord, but it's an open chord. So not all of the notes are played, just two of the notes. Now we're gonna go back and fill that B flat major chord in, um, but we're gonna add a note and remove a note. So F and B flat, we're gonna take away the B flat, add back in the D, and then we're gonna take away the F and then play just the B flat and D. So essentially we're building the chord, inverting it, and then we're just basically reconstructing the B flat major chord. Now, I want you to remember that if you need to stop and practice, please by all means do. I simply want to give you some sort of pattern, a way to hold your improvisation. From that you can create variations and explore and make wonderful, amazing um, improvisatory creations. Now you probably heard me say this at the very beginning of this um, lesson. So we're going to be adding a triplet. Now, if you have, um, if you're not as familiar with a triplet, you can think of it by saying the word strawberry. Okay, so it's a little bit like playing a three against two or two against three. But if you say strawberry, it helps cement in your mind to keep the rhythm steady. So we're going to apply what we've learned with the chords. So this time we're going to remember how we inverted the chord. We're going to play just the F and the B flat. We're going to focus on that. So we'll strawberry down to the F, strawberry down to the D, strawberry. Okay, really simple, right? Now here we have the same thing, but this time we're focusing on the F major chord. So just like we did before with the B flat major chord, we're just gonna break it up. So throw that F on top, and then we're going to basically uh, go descend, going back down towards the bottom end of our keyboard, breaking that chord up just like that. And I have the left hand just to give it a little bit of grounding. F major chord, 
and throw the F on top and then just break that chord up descending. That's all we're going to do. Here we have the same thing again, but just with the F major chord, we have F, C. Now I have made this an E natural, but you can also play this as an E flat if you want to create the F um, seventh. But again, one of the beautiful things about improvisation is you get to make the choices. This is your time to improvise, but in this measure, I in particular, I chose to make it just the F major. So if you're wondering, oh, why is the F natural? That's why. So here we have the F to C, strawberry, F, C, break down the chord, C, A, strawberry, down to the A, All right, so I think by now you're probably sensing, yes, there is a pattern, and you are right. So let's play this one more time with a little bit more momentum, a little bit faster. Try it with me. Strawberry. Here comes a strawberry. We're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna play the G minor chord. So the G minor chord is G, B flat, and D. And again, we're gonna throw that bottom note up to the top, just like we did with the F and the um, B flat chord. So just breaking up that chord, descending, pretty simple. Now you probably get the drift because now we're gonna break it up and add that little strawberry rhythmic element. Now again, I've taken a license to not flat the E because I this is the sound that I want to add into my improvisation. So if you want to play the E flat, you may. It would sound like this. Okay? Or you can play as the E natural, as I have written. Okay? It's totally up to you. So, and if you decide to play the E flat, share with me down in the comments and tell me what your experience is and if you have included this into your improvisation. So, here we have the G minor, strawberry, G down to D, starting with the D, B flat, strawberry, and moving down, B flat, G, strawberry. Okay, so as you can see now, we have this beautiful pattern emerging. So remember, if you want to add a different rhythm in your left hand to make a new variation, to create, to explore, please do and share with me in the comments below. And we have the E flat chord. So we have E flat, G and B. Again, like we've done with the other chords, we're gonna throw that E flat on top and then we're going to break up that chord descending and then we're gonna add our strawberry as our rhythmic variation. So again, here we have the E flat, B, strawberry, E flat, B. Now we're gonna start with the B flat. Here comes the strawberry. But actually, if you wanted to, here, you could add the A flat. And again, this is the beauty about improvisation. You can make it your own. There's nothing to say you can't either play an A flat or an A natural and then down to the G. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, well, have we actually played everything? What else can we add as part of our improvisation toolkit? Well, there is one more idea I have for you. This is the part where I say, now we get to explore. Now I'm going to play a few different options for you. And again, this is simply to inspire you. So we're gonna start with the B, the B flat chord, and we're still gonna add that strawberry, but in my left hand, I'm going to play an arpeggio. So that means instead of playing a blocked chord, meaning all the notes together, I'm going to arpeggiate, meaning play one note at a time of the chord, B flat, F, and I'm gonna play the again the octave and I'm gonna play that twice here comes my strawberry okay now the next part I'm gonna to shift to that F now with my left hand instead of playing it arpeggiated or blocked I'm gonna play each note of the F major chord one at a time and I'm still gonna add my strawberry in and again I've chosen to play an E natural 
again to explore. We're going to go back to that G minor chord with an E natural, but this time, look at my left hand. I've chosen a completely different rhythm. So I'm playing one, two, three, one, two, three. And again, if you're new to piano, you can just also just play the G and hold it the entire time through, or you can make it even more complicated, up level it. But here's an example that I want to show with you. So we're gonna play the G major chord, G minor chord, excuse me. And then to round this off, we're going to do something that we haven't done yet, and we're going to add some texture. So we have the E flat major chord. Now, again, my left hand is playing a different tempo. Now, if you notice, there's little dots above the E flat and the B flat and the E flat. That's because we're going to play these two notes staccato. So we're going to play these really short to give a new type of layering, a new texture. And I encourage you, as you go about improvising and becoming more comfortable playing uh, your improvisation at the piano, don't be afraid to add different textures. So in the E flat, we're going to play this staccato, strawberry, then the whole note, and then we're going to go back just to the B flat. So let's put these two together, and I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. And again, share with me if you have suggestions or you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So we're going to start back at the G minor, and here comes the staccato, and then ending on B flat. Now let's put this whole explore portion together and see what it sounds like. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.